Are you almost ready for the double date? I'm done, so if you need any help, I'd be glad to assist. Oh, you need help with your hair? Okay, I got your back. Just sit down and let me do my magic. Do you have any certain hairstyle in mind? Ah, oh, that one. Yes, I think I could do that for you. You have really nice hair, you know that? Hmm. I might just have to steal your conditioner. <laughs> oh, you would let me borrow it anyway? That's so sweet of you. I do hope the boys behave tonight. I swear they're always at each other's throats and it's annoying. I thought they might bond over the whole being abandoned by your curator and being replaced by someone seemingly better thing. But I guess I'm wrong. Okay, how about we head downstairs? <laughs> it's weird seeing you all dressed up like that. You look like a fucking dork. Oh yeah? Well, at least my creator didn't toss me aside because I was weak. <laughs> I am not weak. At least I'm not a copycat who spent months trying to impersonate somebody else. <laughs> Shut up. Me and Albedo are working out our differences. Besides... At least he's not better than me. Hey, are you implying that the Raiden Shogun is better than me? Oh, I'm not implying. She is better than you. <sighs> That's it. I'm sick of your bullshit, Dorian. Uh, what the fu- Is this your boss theme? What the hell is going on? Uh... uh to get you two a get along shirt? He started, he started it. it. I don't care who started it. You two need to behave yourselves for a listener and I tonight, or else. Or else what? Hey, don't forget who beat your ass while you were inside a giant battle mech. <laughs> Fine. I'll behave if he does. Feelings mutual, asshole. Wonder, I swear to Barbados, I'm gonna shove that chair so far up your fucking ass. Do it. You won't. No balls. <coughs> <clears throat> um, anyways, listener, you look absolutely amazing. That outfit looks stunning on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're blushing. How adorable. If you're already this flustered, just you wait to what I have planned for you later, darling. Ugh. Can you two get a room? I'm gonna vomit at this rate. Ugh, you hypocrite. You think me and listener can't hear you calling traveler pet every two fucking seconds? It's gross. Oh, you wanna go there? Cause me and Traveler hear you call listener darling way more than I call Traveler pet. Boys, boys, you're both pretty. Now can we get a move on? I'd actually like to get to eat tonight. Right, food's ordered. What shall we do as we wait? Hmm. Why 
why don't you amuse us with one of your many tales of traveling around to that? There has to be one that you've missed. Hmm. Okay, I think I got one. Did I ever tell you guys the story how I figured out Listener was dating Wanderer? Hmm. No, I don't think you have, love. Oh? <laughs> Listener, you didn't tell me about this. How interesting. Go on, Traveler. Okay, so I go downstairs one morning and I see Listener with bruises on their neck. And I also noticed there's one more bowl in the sink than usual, but I just brushed it off, thinking maybe Listener was extra hungry, and maybe they could have just burnt their neck while doing their hair. But the day I went to go see Dorian, I came home to Listener with bruises on their neck again, and I just knew, of course, they just had to notice the ones on my neck too. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <sighs> Dear God. So that was a fun talk we had afterwards. That reminds me, I have my own story involving Listener. Oh, really? Yes, this is about the time they taught me how to cook. <laughs> Uh-oh, I already know this won't end well. Yeah, Listener teaching anyone to cook never does. So, Listener noticed one day that I know jack shit about cooking, and they demanded that I let them teach me. I agreed, not knowing what I was getting myself into. So, we got started, and already they had notes. And I don't know why, but Listener does this thing, I'm sure you guys have noticed. They talk in an accent when they're upset. Specifically, it's specifically like something like Gordon Ramsay or something, I don't know if I can know. Anyways, this is... This is exactly what listeners said to me. They said, <clears throat> Dorian, you freaking nonce. You aren't cutting the food properly. Dorian, that soup has the consistency of sludge. Dorian, this chicken is so raw, it's still laying eggs. And then they started calling me names. Dorian, you donut, you freaking donkey. And they also grabbed two slices of bread and made me say I was an idiot sandwich. That part I remember. That was humiliating, so I may or may not have ran out the room crying. Wander, shut the hell up. It's funny. Sounds like you got it worse than I did. Oh, it looks like the food is here. Let's dig in. Man, the food was so good. I'm stuffed. We gotta go there again. I agree. Even though I don't eat much, that was... something else. Let's go to bed, shall we? Good night, you two. Good night, I guess. I swear to God, if we hear anything coming from their room tonight... I'm going to lose it. Okay, I think that they're gone. <laughs> Why do I need them gone? And so I can do this. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm carrying you. Where? To the bedroom, of course. Where else would I be taking my love? <laughs> T 
Don't you remember? I told you that I had a surprise for you later. Mm, guess what? It's later. <laughs> Aren't you looking forward to your surprise? Good. Remember the last time we were in this position? Me pinning you to your bed? <laughs> Brings back memories, doesn't it? <laughs> Although, this time I think we have to be a little more quiet. I don't want Dory or Traveler coming in here. That would be really awkward. So, do me a favor. <laughs> Try to keep the noises to a minimum, darling. <laughs> if you can. Oh, you're so cute. Sweet as ever. are so sweet. <laughs> Do you put anything on your lips? Or are you just naturally sweet? saying this, but you really do taste amazing. I think it's time for you to show me your neck. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that too rough? Now you're all marked up. 
Hmm. I suppose you're right. Dorian and the Traveler will know what we were up to in the morning. But, come on. Do you seriously think that they're not doing the exact same thing we're doing? Exactly. They have no room to talk. I'm sure your little friend will be just as marked up as you. <laughs> I don't think we have anything to worry about. <laughs> now, time for the really fun part. <laughs> no. <laughs> as much as fun as that was, that's not the part that I think you'll be looking forward to. Remember, I told you I had a surprise. You didn't think that was a surprise, did you? No. You see, while I was cleaning your room, I happened to stumble across something. Tell me, does this look familiar to you? Uh, 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 yes, it's your diary. <laughs> I found it while I was cleaning, and I'm sorry, my love, but I just had to take a peek. <laughs> yeah. I saw all of those things that you wrote about me. All of the things that you fantasize about me doing to you. <laughs> you know, you could have just asked. I'd be more than willing to do anything you ask me to. Yes, that's the surprise. I'm going to do anything you want me to do to you. Of course. I need your consent for- <laughs> Oh? <laughs> I didn't even get to finish my sentence and you already gave me your consent. Somebody's eager, aren't they? Well, in that case... I have a question that is totally unrelated, definitely. Where do you keep the rope? Anyways, listener, you look absolutely stunning. <laughs> that outfit looks absolutely... <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> what way do outfits look on people? Fuck. Um. <laughs> Kate, why would you unmute? I'm recording. What? What? I'm doing a scare up and he called me a webbit. <laughs> You're happy because this is going in the bloopers. No. <laughs> oh my god. We're probably still gonna see that interview. <laughs> oh my god. Is that is it so screech? I don't know, I'm illiterate. Okay, yeah, no, then that you still screech. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna record, go back to recording. Okay. You're on mute again. <laughs> Anyways. 
was I doing? Oh yeah. <clears throat> um, anyways, listener, you look amazing in that dress. Oh, fuck! No, don't say dress. That's not gender inclusive, Nico. Fuck you. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Why is this one part so hard to record? Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, I don't think. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Ugh. I don't know why. I just don't like that line. I don't like the way he says it. I don't, I don't like this. Same scare. Same. Dear God. <laughs> Don't you remember? Earlier, I told you. What did I tell you? The <laughs> <laughs> remember. <laughs> remember. <laughs> oh, I can't fucking do this. I can't fucking do this anymore. I've been editing this audio for two days. Texting me, I'm busy, bitch. Man, the food was so good. I'm stuffed. We gotta go here again. Oh, fuck you, I didn't even say that correctly. Man, the food was. <sighs> Let me start again. Man, the food was so. Oh, it looks like the food is here. Let's dig in. Food is on there now. And I also noticed one more empty space is left for the Taka Tika. Oh, my eye hurts now. Where's my line? Hold the fuck up. Did I ever tell you guys the story how I figured out which one of the things wanted? Should I go to or what shall we do as we wait? <laughs> the lion can go. Hmm, okay. I think I got one. Did I ever tell you that? <laughs>